commentators commentating care. during Nitro Girl segments. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. They just got to put over it. They're going to Florida and uh, Machu Picchu. Yeah, anyways, get Big Papa Pump out here. It's time. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, I'll, you please, I won't even, I don't got to say nothing. That's all you, I'm I sure. live for Big yeah. Papa Pump town halls. I, it, if we ever watch a WCW show where Big Papa Pump isn't doing a town hall, I don't want to fucking watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We'll, that's true. We'll, just delete, we'll just not talk about it. We'll just go back and find another show to do. Yeah. <laughs> These <laughs> things, this guy, top, top five, man, ever. Like, this guy is so He's, good. Dude, I mean, this is hilarious this here. is Steiner, tremendous oh, by the way steiner comes out and he points at a sign in the crowd which is his logo which is of course the superman logo which it's one your logo it's which Scott. one the m also that's m for steiner <laughs> <laughs> and he, not only does he point at the sign but he grabs the cameraman and makes him point he at makes the him sign show. Like, no, I'm over. you see this <laughs> so james if you if you would please what is the first thing that scott says here grabs his little microphone he pans up to his face you know <laughs> <laughs> my brother sucks <laughs> Dude, once i heard that i was like oh you're i'm good. already like i'm already perked up for it i'm like oh my yeah. god like you already got me i was, goes, I was you ready know, yeah. my brother sucks <laughs> you know who else sucks <laughs> the chicago cubs because the chicago cubs jumped on sammy sosa's back to get to a world series <laughs> And then Scott Steiner says, and I convinced Sammy Sosa to leave the Chicago Cubs <laughs> because what? Chicago sucks. Chicago sucks. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, and he, I was he, like, yeah, that also, was pretty good. He also got, I think, I don't know if he fumbled this or it was an accident, but he said, uh, you know, just like I rode my brother's back. Uh, you rode my back. We, we <laughs> went a, went a fucking Chicago sucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're women. Because <laughs> Chicago sucks. I'm like, damn, that's a pretty good promo. And he goes, you know, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> he goes, you know, there isn't a woman in this building that I couldn't put down <laughs> horizontally <laughs> and look her in the eyes and see nothing. With satisfaction. <laughs> oh, my So this God. goes out to all you freaks out there. <laughs> Big Papa Pump is your hookup. Yeah. Holler if you hear me. And I was like, wow, that's fucking tremendous. What a good what Steiner a good promo. What a good end to this promo. Yeah. But you see... <laughs> <laughs> so here, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but you see, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but you see, last Monday night show, and another woman <laughs> step in this ring and embarrass <laughs> one Marcus Bagwell. <laughs> <laughs> Scott says. When Buff is in Steiner's world, Steiner is the stuff. I said like, he's going to co-opt this man's whole gimmick right now. He is, I know. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, Steiner convinced Buff's mom to stay home, and he said to do the following stuff. Laundry, the dishes. <laughs> and mopping. Uh, but anyways, Buff Bagwell and Judy Bagwell then come down to the ring. Yes. Um, so they have not named her as Judy Bagwell yet. They, they She's just actually, Mrs. I think Bagwell. The, I, I think they mention it during her walking out actually because can I think you guess who knew what her first name was it was of course mike today <laughs> the professor the professor right i'm pretty sure they asked how you know that yeah, yeah. well uh, fucking show, uh um zabisco asked and he said oh what, what's her first name and then he says judy and because Shiv- i mean uh, zabisco wanted to say oh judge judy bagwell <laughs> yeah I think shivani goes ha yeah <laughs> okay uh the crowd is very behind buff here Sure. Super behind. Like, he is really over. Yeah. Um, you know, and Buff says, uh, Scott, I think we have a problem. And Scott says, the only problem <laughs> is your neck <laughs> and me knowing how I can break it. <laughs> so That's damn. so sick. That's <laughs> He's getting so destroyed. <laughs> That's so sick. And I love the mama's boy gimmick. Buff said, I talked to my mom. And my mom said, it's all your fault, Scott. <laughs> it's gone too far. It's all Our your tag fault. team, it's fucking done. It's all your fault. Yeah. And Steiner said, oh, mama's boy getting kind of soft. Maybe I ripped that NWO shirt off. <laughs> right and off your then back. Buff then challenges Scott to a match tonight in Chicago. Oh, shit. And Steiner then says the following thing. <laughs> Buff, if you don't get your mom out of this ring right now, I'm going to put this old scallywag on the mat right now <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck 
Oh my god. Open his own scallywag <laughs> on the mat right now. <laughs> so then they fucking start brawling. Buff attacks him. Steiner low blows Buff. Yes. And then stun guns him on the rope on his bad neck. Yes. Uh, and then Steiner starts yelling at Judy Bagwell. <laughs> you got any more Bagwell sons at home? <laughs> You got more bag rolls. He's like four times. And then I'm like, wow, that was a good segment. It shows like the Nitro logo. I'm like, all right, we're going to commercial. Steiner is screaming. Who is this devil to me? <laughs> you know, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chicago sucks. <laughs> What'd you see? <laughs> What this a beast. Is, you could have him come out here every fucking segment. I'd be like, yeah, this is awesome. This was there was a great so line good. on commentary. I forgot. I think it was Shivani or somebody said that. Okay. Uh, Judy Bagel could lay down the law, and then Zabisco says she could probably lay down Sod. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Zabisco. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. That was a great line. Anyway, where's my it. family? <laughs> <laughs> you got any more bag ones on the <laughs> No, I don't think so. <laughs> he, well, I th didn't we watch a night show where John Bagwell was also involved? Oh, we oh, did there watch. Was there was four Bagwell, Bagwell songs at home. <laughs> Steiner knew that, too. Oh, that's the one Judy Bagwell takes the canyon cutter. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she did take a bump. <laughs> John Jesus. Bagwell. Bump. John Bagwell. God. Fucker. Shout There's to John. a what woman in building. Yeah. I couldn't put down. Oh, horizontally. <laughs> Look at what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking sweet. Oh, what a beast. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, you, holla, yeah. if you hear me. I was like, oh, yeah. here it goes. <laughs> Scott Steiner was the fucking coolest. He comes out with his arms just fucking huge. He's just He's massive. Gigantic. One of my favorite WWE shirts of all time is the Big Papa Pump. Just huge. It's just Big yes. Papa Pump. And like this shirt is awesome. I love this. It is good. Um, yeah. He comes out and Jay Lawler's like, Jesus Christ, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> look at this freak. <laughs> yeah, he is the coolest um he comes yeah. to the ring and they they're immediately about to get to it here triple h has to explain more rules it's like i don't even understand why he's Dude, explaining the rules triple h would not shut the fuck up also before uh steiner came out when he was looking for judges he said oh uh well you've got the chest for it lady but i think i'm gonna go with some other people that are more qualified so he like just put it to random lady and said oh you got big tits but no <laughs> hey big tit lady sit the fuck down charlie chan over here you're gonna be it <laughs> oh yeah triple fuck, h dude? also met, uh mentioned mr olympia like a thousand times oh my judges, god like mr olympia because he's an Arnold like, pervert like James. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is essentially what this was. This was like uh, they yeah. mentioned they mentioned mentioned the Arnold too during this. I, uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's right. They did. Yeah, so I mean, that's essentially what they did. Is just and Triple H was very tan, just like everyone at the Arnold. Scott Steiner said, "I don't give a fuck about this." <laughs> Steiner's naturally like that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So they go through the poses here, which is pretty cool because most of these are poses they do the front yep. double bicep pose uh triple h poses then scott steps in front of him it shows him what that's, a real maze is. you're a real man that's like, oh my pop, god the pop for it too is tremendous you want to kiss that kiss that baby <laughs> <laughs> then they do the side chest again same thing it just Steiner just showing them off, and even Triple H looks back and he says, "Oh, what the? Look at this." Yeah, Triple H said, yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> That was the best. His eyes were like popping out and say, "Ooh, you look good." <laughs> yeah, Triple H, you were like, "Damn, bro, this is kind of crazy." Freezella. <laughs> then they do the most muscular, and they're just posing and posing. They get in each other's face and they're flexing. Going, ah, ah, they get face to face flexing. Scott Steiner is, yeah, he's freaking out here. He's got veins everywhere. He's. He looked Nuts. real crazy. Like, you don't see he him did. ever do that front pose like that very often. Because usually he's just, like, you know, flexing up the front yeah, double bicep. Yeah, the, the biceps instead. But, yeah. yeah, but, dude, he looked nuts he in the light. looked insane, yeah. Yeah, just crazy. Uh, anyways, everyone votes for Triple H because this is bullshit rigged. The books are rigged. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How, I can't believe it. The guys Triple H picked were the ones that voted for Yeah, what is this, light. bro? He just insulted you for you even got in the ring. You still voted for him. Come on, bro. Yeah, I know. You don't. Well, they got paid for it, I guess. I doubt I it. That. <laughs> <laughs> that big evolution check. <laughs> I love their scorecard. Steiner has like this font oh, yeah. that says Steiner, and then Triple H is like a full logo. <laughs> He's got this entire H logo. <laughs> With That's subtext. right, I forgot about that. <laughs> it was so subtext. good. Subtext. Yeah, that was good. So yeah, I love Steiner, Steiner says, Steiner oh, says yeah, fuck that. I'm going to let the fans vote. And even though Triple H said the fans can't vote, Steiner's changing the rules. So Steiner goes on a rope and flexes and the crowd goes crazy. And Steiner comes back down and says, all right, you do it. <laughs> Triple H says, no. I feel like that I'm was a shoot. That. Yeah, you go out there and see what they say. Yeah. He's, he's going to get the free Tim Phoenix. I love Scott Steiner here. He's like, you tell me you don't know any of these guys in your life? You've never seen these guys before? <laughs> 
There's something about the way that dude talks that gets me fired up, bro. They just got just I, rules, man. I think Triple H could have convinced them that he didn't know those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too, actually. <laughs> and then Triple H challenges him to a push up contest. Oh shit. And he says, Shut up, coach. <laughs> I think Steiner coach said grabs that. the mic, dude. Yeah, that's the does. contest. Yeah. Uh so they start doing push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine getting to 10 and then one of the guys jump Scott Steiner and all the judges begin whooping Steiner's ass oh my god how could this happen son of a bitch <laughs> Triple H ain't even doing full range of motion on them push ups either Scott Steiner was going ass to grass he was getting in yeah, there you know he I mean? don't play around uh, Steiner fought them all back and he beat everybody up and Triple H in front of the left and Steiner goes ah <laughs> <laughs> he does that every time huh? yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was awesome. I actually really, really like this segment here. This is probably I mean, next it, to the like, D'Lo Brown segment. This was it yes. for me. I mean, like we said, it was immortalized in a video game, so it was meant something. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I actually miss when the games would do that. Yeah, man, I know. Me too. I, I Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Get my bags. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm doing him an egg. Dude. <laughs> Gonna suck my dick or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, what a crazy line. I give line. my room number if you want. I give my room keys if you want, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I what? Just, what? <laughs> I just yes. thought of this. They do the two Steiner matches, and then it goes to Booker T and Triple H at Mania after this. I forgot about all that. Well, because they have a horrible Rumble match, and they never go back to it again. Oh, they just gave up on Scott after that, actually. Yeah. Which is I want, weird. I wonder why. I wonder if Weird. Triple H had anything to do with yeah. that. Yeah, hey, let's ask Scott Steiner what he thinks about Triple H, and then we'll figure out why. <laughs> yeah, just watch any Steiner shoot interview, and any the stuff that he remembers is great, which is not a lot. Yeah, he always just goes, yeah, I don't really remember that. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> yeah, huh? yeah, pretty much. Oh, but I if think, you mention wait, Triple no. H, he remembers. Sorry, they have two, They have a match at the Rumble, and they have another match at No Way Out, which is before Mania, right? I don't remember. All I remember was the the belly to belly match. They do it yeah, again. So they have one at No Way Out. And I think Steiner's pants fall down at one point or something. I don't know. Is Steiner even on Mania? They gave up on him. I'm pretty sure, right? Because he, I right here it says on April 14th Steiner faced off against Nowinski in a debate over the Iraq War. <laughs> oh my God, that was one of my favorite segments too. Scott was going crazy, bro. Oh <laughs> Which my we God, need to, we, we should need watch, to watch that, that one, for... bro. Yeah, wow, that's, I that's... forgot all about that until right now. Scott started going off on a tirade. Scott Steiner like hit some crazy with it too. Dude, he was going nuts. Oh wow, that was uh, that, uh, so all-timer. that's that same. This is the same year where he teams with Test and they do the Stacy angle too. Oh, yeah, Steiner yeah, yeah. was not at Mania or on Sunday Night Heat or anything. Yeah, no, he. I mean, he's gone from the company at the end of '04. So, Jeez. damn, I don't know how you mess this dude up because he is like. The epitome of wrestling to me, like this dude well, I, is like. That's probably why, because he's a loose fucking cannon, and they like you know having people that they can do whatever they want. Uh, and Steiner does whatever he wanted. Yeah, I used to love listening to the WCW stories where everyone was shoot scared to even be in a segment with him. <laughs> <laughs> but back goes like, I gotta get out of here, man. I can't dude, do this no more. Dude, he shot on Ric Flair <laughs> in the same <laughs> company as him on Nitro. He I think like, was it Flair there? Ric Flair was backstage. <laughs> Flair yeah. was backstage and he was like, and fuck Ric Flair, that old <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's why I told everybody to go watch Steve Austin. He's like, go watch yeah, Raw, yeah, watch Steve watch Austin. Austin. He said, fuck Ric Flair, this show sucks, go watch Raw and Stone Cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would, That's I'm just awesome. saying, Scott is wrestling. I don't care what he was saying. He's this the man. Rules. This is This is the epitome. When, when there's that sort of like, just... Oh my God! There's just this guy that can come out there and cause a, a whirlwind in seconds. Like that's so dude, interesting I, to me. Like I said, loose fucking cannon, dude. Like yeah, it's absolutely. We we there needs to be some more chaos like that. Maybe some I sort agree. of kid chaos. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Human well, anyways, cyclone. I'm looking at you. Anyways, the main event is it's Scott Steiner. So fuck it. <laughs> uh, so they hand the microphone off to Scott Steiner, and immediately Tony Schiavone goes, "Oh no." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Please, we cannot I can't stress enough this outfit he has on it's a big purple jacket 
it's like the godfather really it's the, God, the godfather the godfather never looked this good though it's <laughs> absurd that Big they let hat. him do it, this it's, it's like he went to one of those halloween costume shops and got pimp outfit off the yes. wall and put Dude, that on at one point he finally takes off this outfit he takes his glasses off there's another set of glasses <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> oh it looks like he stole the outfit from uh, the artist formerly known as prince ikea i wonder if he just stole that guy's outfit and wore it to the ring <laughs> he, i think sid oh no lex luger injured him didn't he <laughs> i don't know yeah Fuck that Dog, Dog. this this can never exist ever in wrestling again oh no no this no, no is a once in a lifetime experience that you will never get to experience again this is, this is incredible th- one this time tv crazy. this happened on this happened on prime time television two during- weeks in a row here yes. on deadlock i we get to to praise the gospel of scott steiner <laughs> man one of the greatest of all time never to be replicated it literally cannot and will not ever happen again so you, can, you um, can't compare last week's scott steiner this one though this is, no, a whole this is the definitive scott whole steiner experience yeah. If oh, you want the Scott Steiner, if someone goes, why do you like Scott Steiner? Yeah, what Point is it about him? Here, yes. right here, and you will get the full <laughs> mantra of Scott Steiner. Dude, he should so, start a podcast called the Scott Steiner Experience. He oh, probably I'd shouldn't. <laughs> I would love that. He shit. probably should not have a mic unless it's heavily edited. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna start the podcast off, and the first thing he's gonna say, bro, this goes to all my freaks out there, and Ric Flair, you old fuck. <laughs> Dude, he's this got guy. some all-time liners in this thing, dude. He shits oh my over god! Everything, and it le- it go. There's no. There's no. It doesn't lead to anything. He does. I don't even know if he wrestles okay, at Super I, Brawl. I wrote this like I had to write like this whole thing down. I wrote this whole fucking thing down. He says dude, when Big Papa Pump comes to town, my hoochies come around. <laughs> they censored hoochies as well. Did they? Oh yeah, shit. I think so. Dude, Steiner doesn't have a match at Super Brawl. <laughs> He's he not booked here? on the show at all? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was on like the whiteboard or whatever, you know. Oh, end of meal promo. You have like 20 whatever. There's your segment time. Go out there's, there's do there was no, this ahead. wasn't supposed to be here. This, this wasn't take supposed us through to be here. This promo. Okay. So first thing he says, he grabs the microphone. Tony Schiavone says, oh, no. Okay. This is going to be an all timer. This is it. Um, whenever I think of the, whenever I do the Ric Flair, you old fuck bit, yes. this is the it's promo. This, this yeah. is it. This uh-huh. is what comes yeah. to my mind. Um, so yeah, he goes, when Big Papa Pump comes to town, all my hoochies come around and the crowd <laughs> yeah. goes, yeah, fuck yeah. They love what this hoochies? guy. Super over, man. Yes. Incredibly over. And and then he goes straight into, and it's a shame we had to leave LA and come to this cesspool <laughs> called Tulsa. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> like, oh yeah, he's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, and last night when I was kicking it in the booty proving that I was the daddy, that I was the king of the night. But I'm not one to brag, so Madeja and Kim tell him what it's like to be with the purple warrior. <laughs> the purple warrior. Mark goes, the what? The fucking purple so warrior. Fuck. The what? purple warrior. He's never worn purple before. <laughs> the purple warrior is straight out of Tulsa. So, so we're to believe that he was wearing this last night, the yes. purple outfit, and he was having sex in it, and he just kept it on and went to Nitro. So Freak Kim says, he's not just anyone. He's mm. our Superman. Yeah. And Scott Dan goes, you're damn straight. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> he goes, you're damn straight. And he rips the jacket off to reveal the S shirt that is not Superman. It stands for Scott Steiner. Steiner, of course. Steiner. Oh, that's yeah. so of course. sick. And he goes into yeah, his just... bit. And I think this is where the promo was supposed to end. But then Scott said, I think I'm going to take this a little longer. He goes... <laughs> Scott I'm gonna say rips whatever the jacket want, off, dude. shows the at the Superman S on it on his chest, and he goes, and this goes to all my freaks out there. Big Papa Pump is your hookup. Holler if you hear me. That was it. That was supposed to be it. Jeff Jarrett was that, in supposed yes. to get the mic and go. I'm the commissioner. Uh, we got this match here tonight. He goes, and Ric Flair. <laughs> 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 you old motherfucker. You old fuck right, Ric Flair. I, I think right before he starts talking, he asked somebody else, like, hey, do you want the mic? And they're like, no, I said what I want to say. And then he just goes, oh, Ric Flair. Bet. Yeah. He, dude, he does holler. If you hear me, he looks around for a second. He decides to put his foot on the ropes. <laughs> Ric Flair, you old <laughs> fucking bitch. He's a 53-year-old man with loose skin. Still trying to say he's the man. Dude, this is... I say this line all the time. 
He, he goes, I watched a 53-year-old man come in here with more loose skin than a sharp paid puppy come out here and say he's still the man. I see Ric Flair. Number two, the nature boy. Scott Steiner <laughs> fucking cannot stand that he took the nature boy gimmick from Buddy He's Rogers. A big Buddy Rogers bar. Dude, remember what they're building to here, by the way. Ric Flair versus Terry Funk. Nothing Scott to do Steiner with the is not NWO. involved in this angle at all. This Ric Flair, Terry Funk, I quit match the building to, and Steiner's just going off. Ric Flair had just gotten to the building as well. It must have sparked something in Scott. He was like, oh yeah, and another thing. <laughs> <laughs> this dude went into a whole tirade. He said, number two, the nature boy. And he'd been the butt in all the jokes because he's supposed to be the limo riding, jet flying son of a gun. But I'm saying one time, you should have taken a cab and used that money to fix your crooked yellow teeth. <laughs> your crooked yellow teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you got Freak and Kim and Freak Medasia in the background going, yeah, yeah. 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 This, and the crooked yellow teeth line is an all-timer, but this fucking Buddy Rogers rant that he goes on <laughs> oh is, my God. is so unbelievably Scott He's, Steiner. <laughs> dude, he thought about ending the promo at the crooked yellow teeth, then he put it's his foot nah. back on, he put the foot back on the roof and he said, Bump so that. I had to ask myself. <laughs> And that's when you know oh. when Scott starts using phrases like that. So yeah. I had to ask myself. <laughs> now if, everybody knows. <laughs> now I know. It's like that's when you know. It's yeah. about to, you're about to get the, ten the more minutes for Scott. <laughs> yeah, the wheels are spinning at this point. Oh, so does Ric Flair have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Who oh. fucking knows? Scott he has like a snaggle tooth. He does. But you know who doesn't have crooky yellow teeth? Is nature Buddy boy. Rogers. The original <laughs> nature boy. Fuck, so he puts his foot back on the road and goes, So I had to ask myself if WCW is going to hire the nature boy number two. Why won't they hire the nature boy number one, Buddy Rogers? Buddy. And like, he says it, he says nature boy number one, and he says his name as if he's dropping a bombshell, like he's exposing Ric Flair. And why did they hire nature boy number one, Buddy Rogers? <laughs> it's like the Matt freaking Hardy line. That <laughs> Dude, this is the Matt freaking Hardy line. So he goes, Buddy Rogers. He takes a pause for a second, and the crowd's like, okay. And he goes, nah, I know Buddy Rogers is dead. <laughs> God rest his soul. God. <laughs> but this so is, is your the, career. <laughs> that was an all-time line yeah. right there. That's the greatest God. burn of all time. Which, I know he's dead in real life, but your career's dead, motherfucker. He, he, <laughs> he took the time to continue this promo to question why WCW would not hire Buddy Rogers. And then it hits him that Buddy Rogers has been dead for a while. His, oh, his, <laughs> his like voice. a deer in headlines. He's like, oh shit, he's actually dead. That's probably Dude. why they didn't hire him. His <laughs> tone his tone and voice goes completely yes. it's like it's like he had a, a fucking just he act, stopped I don't being, even know I don't even know the word. He stopped being Scott Steiner for a minute and he had to get like being serious. Scott Steiner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he goes, if WC Dow's gonna hire nature point number two, then he's gonna hire nature point number one, Buddy Rogers. And no, now I know. I know Buddy Rogers is dead. God rest <laughs> his soul. <laughs> Buddy Rogers. Buddy Rogers oh, died in 1992. <laughs> it is 2000. That's like the time Steiner realized the TNA ropes were red and the whole logo was red. And he was like, oh shit, it is red. <laughs> it is red. <laughs> uh, so um, he keeps going. It's not done yet. God rest his soul. It is not done. No. Good. He goes, now nah, I know Buddy Rogers is dead. God rest his soul. As he lays six feet under, he's still styling and profiling. Because when you use your little brain and stole his name, there was only one thing he couldn't steal. His class. <laughs> so when you walk down that aisle, I know I wasn't alone. Because I know all these people grabbed the remote and changed the channel to the WWF to watch Stone Cold, a person you and your old friends got fired from here because you're a jealous old bastard. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so funny. How he good. switches from the the concerned Buddy Rogers line right back in dude. God rest his soul. Now you know. <laughs> when Scott Steiner says so, it's fucking over. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, that's it. You better that's watch out. Dude, you gotta back up. And he starts the next line. So Ric Flair. <laughs> Him and his old friends ran out because he's a jealous old bastard. And then, fuck, this is... <laughs> 
<laughs> this Steiner knows that he has to stop soon, so he is just throwing out anything he can say at this point. Did he you says, watch the freaks in the back? Did you watch? No. Dude, they were like, the they were like trying to do the math of the butt sucking. They were in the back going, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, tell There's him, never tell been him. a bigger ass-kissing, butt-sucking bastard <laughs> in this no, business. You're, say, you're saying it's straight. Like, he, he goes, butt Sucking bastards. <laughs> he like didn't know what he was coming out next. But in real life, he said. But also in life. But in real life, you're the biggest ass kissing, but back backstabbing, <laughs> butt sucking bastard, and you belong where you're at in WCW because WCW sucks. And so do you. <laughs> Dude, I love how Steiner ties a nice little bow on it at the end to cap off yes. the promo. WCW sucks and so do you. Oh, and I'm going to stay right here God. in the NWO for life. <laughs> That's just like the cherry on top of the Sunday right there. NWO Ask for kissing, life. B- back, b- back, backstabbing, butt sucking bastard. In this Dude. business, but also in life. Also in life, not just... For sh- not just on the record, <laughs> but also off the record. <laughs> that's that's for true. Oh shit! That's what we're gonna do from now on. It's not off the record, but, on the record. It's in this business but, and and in real life. Butt sucking. Ass kissing. Butt sucking. Where the fuck does that come from? He, he wanted to say butt fucking, but he couldn't. Oh. He was looking for the words so hard here, man. He's yeah, like, I yeah, remember. He just I, wanted to say something that wouldn't get him in trouble. So butt sucking was what came out. Butt sucking. He kept it going too. He said, but also in and out <laughs> off the record. That's the great. This is the greatest <laughs> of all time. Tulsa sure. whack. Yeah. <laughs> Ric Flair whack. <laughs> Buddy Rogers. He's tight as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Daps up Buddy Rogers. He's dead. Eight years. The show could have ended here, and I would have been happy. This was the whole show to me. I actually have no notes for anything else. This was just the show. Dude, the the fucking show gets way ridiculous. This is crazy, <laughs> though, because right. I remember back in the day, like, was it NoDQ.com or something? NoDQ. This, they, uploaded, they uploaded this video on there, and I yeah. watched it like a million times back in the day when you had to Backstab download those videos. Butt sucking <sighs> bastard. There's and no he the fans are cheering him now, so they're getting on the side, but Jarrett's yeah, got to turn Rick it back. Flair. Well, Ric Flair's a heel now, too, at this time. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I mean. I guess. Kind of, yeah. They were blurring the lines. Russo said, these are right. characters. He's swerving them. Yeah. He's, he's Ric Flair. Everybody loves Ric Flair. And then Jarrett somehow has to follow this up. <laughs> said, all right, guys. So Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, let me take I, over. I, I wrote down in my notes, I said... I have to segment this because I did not expect anyone to talk after Steiner, but Jared did. <laughs> what the hell? Is this your entrance? Under the trust? 